Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great day. So today, the long-awaited NYC dorm room tour. I think it's been about two weeks, maybe, since I've been living here, and now I feel like it's fully furnished, or at least as fully furnished and fully clean as it can be. This doesn't need any more explanation, so let's just get started. <laughs> so I forgot to say that our dorm room is apartment style, so we have a full kitchen, and also it's a triple, but there's just two of us, so we have a ton of extra space, which I am so grateful for, and I love it. It's really not that bad. It just needs a little <laughs> shaping. To the salon! I love so this is the front door. How incredibly exciting. Just kidding. Basically, when you walk in from the front door, you see the first closet. This is actually like the extra closet that we have, but we're using it for like reusable bags and other coats and stuff. And then obviously that's the kitchen. I'll go into more detail about that later. No, I did not clean that up for the video. So it might be a little bit messy over there, but that's okay. And over there is the little walkway to our beds. But first of all, we have the light switch. And then we have this cool macrame shelf thing that I got off of Amazon. This is so nice to have right by the door. We've been putting masks here and keys and whatever else we may need to quickly grab on the way out so we don't forget. And then right here is the kitchen table, which is so nice that we actually have a kitchen table. We've been eating a lot of meals here and we also prepare a lot of meals on this kitchen table because that's all the counter space we have. But we just kind of have some paper towels, some banana bread, which is delicious, a bunch of other random things, this cutting board that I need to wash. And then as I said earlier, this is like our coat backup closet. So we just have like a broom, some reusable bags, hangers, nothing too exciting, but I don't have any of my coats out here yet because I couldn't fit them in the suitcase. Then coming over to the kitchen, we just have our like, little garbage bag right there, the sink, the dish rack thing, air fryer, my coffee maker, which I got in gold, which I just love, pots and pans, actually these are just pots, our green tea kettle, which I just love the color of this, stove, oven, it's not Nice that it came with all of these things. The microwave, which I got from Target. It's really small, but it works really well. And then we just have cabinets of storage and glasses. And then these two right here are my cabinets for my food. So I just have a bunch of oatmeal, a bunch of coffee, some jelly, snacks, literally so much coffee bananas, tea, like half of this is just caffeinated drinks. <laughs> then we have our refrigerator, the top one's mine, so I have my favorite reusable pizza and my favorite, not reusable pizza, what the heck, um, frozen pizza, where did I get reusable from? And then I have my Oatly ice cream, which is kind of like melted. Then the refrigerator, which is actually pretty filled for just two weeks of being here. Then the bathroom is right here. So I just have my shower cap on the hook. This is the shower. The lighting in here is so weird, but that's okay. Then we have the shower caddy thing, which we got from Marshalls. And then I just have the top level again with my loofah, shampoo, which Fanola sent me, which I just love, body wash, stuff like that. This one's my towel hook. And then hand towels. This is the extra desk that was in our room, but we wanted to clear up space in the actual room itself, so we just put this in the bathroom. And there's the chair. <laughs> then here is the sink. So I have like laundry detergent, steamer, stuff in there, toothbrush holder, stuff like that. This is the mirror, which is super nice. It opens up too, so it's like a medicine cabinet, although these hinges really need to be oil. Once again, my stuff is on the top rung, and then that's the bathroom. You, we all know what a bathroom looks like, so I'm not gonna show that very deeply. Then we put the two closets like this as a divider between the kitchen area and the living area. So that's Inez's closet, and then this one is mine, and this is really messy, so. But I have some more reusable bags. My robe is just hanging on this little hook right here. And I kind of have like blazers on this side. Dresses and like tops. It's not very organized at this point. Down here is laundry bags, shoes, accessories, purses. Up here is like, this is sweatshirts, pants, more pants, more outfits. It's literally such a mess, I, I know, but. 
oh well. <laughs> but this is my desk. I love the desk being at the foot of the bed for some reason. It just really works for me. So I have this fur thing that makes the chair a lot more comfortable and it also looks cute because this wood is kind of hard. So this is a nice like accent. I just have my shower shoes and my most worn shoes right here. And then my side came with these like hooks, so I hooked my school bag onto here. So since today's Sunday and tomorrow's Monday, I packed this already for tomorrow, so it's all ready to go for class. But I got this at The Strand, which is this popular bookstore in New York City. I love it, and I just thought this bag was so cute, and it has a zipper too, so it closes. But my textbook is in here, and I just have my umbrella back here, and a hoodie, and some other cute tote bags. And then on my desk, I have all of my like technology stuff we're just throwing in a pile I have this LED lamp which I just ordered off of Amazon it turns on by tapping it and you can adjust the brightness or the not brightness it's so nice it also has a pencil holder so I have my pens and pencils in here then I have like 15,000 jewelry trays so this one is from Target and this one has the necklaces this one's from anthropology and it has rings and earrings on it and then this one I just got from the Chelsea market but it's like one of those resin things and it has like dried flowers underneath it this has my rings and earrings then I have my date tracker which I'm actually managing to keep track of the dates my mirror which turns on then I have my three drawer makeup storage thing I got this off of Amazon so my eye stuff and lip stuff is in the bottom drawer then I have the face stuff and more eyeshadow stuff then I have a lipstick right here makeup brushes and this cutest flower thing it's supposed to be a vase but i'm using it for makeup brushes but i just love this lip gloss eyeshadow palette and then this macrame magazine holder i got off of amazon too i just love this this i'm using to hold all of my textbooks it also holds my like what is this this is like has my apple pencil in it and some lip balms my planner and then my textbooks and my keyboard so i just thought this was a really cute addition then i have my desk drawers this top part just kind of has a bunch of random stuff just more planning things some sticky notes this top drawer so messy but it's my school supplies i really need to organize this and this drawer has like my hair dryer more makeup stuff these two drawers desperately need to be organized probably the most exciting part the bed and the art decor and the wall decor ah I'm so happy with how this turned out. Anyway, let's start with the art decor. So I just put these up yesterday. These are posters from the Literary Loft. So if you didn't know, I love reading. And this is just subtle fan art for some of the books I love. So this is from Six of Crows and also Shadow and Bone. That's from The Hating Game. That's from From Blood and Ash. And that's from Dance of Thieves. So I thought this just looked so cute and I framed all of these and just hung them up with command strips. And then right here I have another macrame shelf also from Amazon. I just got this too the other day. And I've been putting my current book that I'm reading right now just on this shelf and then also my glasses on this shelf too. It's just so handy to have. It's so easy to access just right above my head. And then I have my poster wall. It's not really a gallery wall, but it kind of is. I spent such a long time putting this together and I'm so pleased with the result of it. Also, I have these curtain fairy lights from Amazon, and the ceilings too are also so high in here. But anyway, I just have a variety of posters. Most of them are from Etsy or from Redbubble, but I just have a variety of size and colored and dimensional pieces. This is another poster from the Literary Loft from A Court of Thorns and Roses. <laughs> and then right here, I have this mirror, which I got off of Amazon, and I put a couple more poster things on it. So I really like this mirror. And then my bed, I have all of my accent pillows, the regular pillows, my comforter. This bed is so comfortable. I always forget how tall it is and I have to like jump down. And then right here, I'm using the extra under the desk storage. So I'm using this kind of as my nightstand. So I put up some books that I think are like very fall aesthetic-y. So I put these all right here and I love how 
they look. Then this top drawer just has my glasses and some more books. And these are books that I have just finished. And then the second drawer is more books because I have a reading problem. This is what this drawer looks like. It's really deep. So I have like contemporary books, rom-coms, more contemporary books, thrillers, and some YA books. So I am, I just collect books. It's fun. It's so fun. <laughs> then under the bed, I have my bed skirt, which is kind of rising up too far. It should be coming down to the floor, but it's not. But I have these two storage drawers where I store clothes and other random stuff. So this top drawer is like my underwear and socks. And this drawer has like some of my workout stuff. I think I was a little too hyper about working out when I packed because so far I have not used any of this workout stuff because I have not worked out. And then this drawer is t-shirts and tank tops. I really like how I've organized this. And there's also skirts in here too. So I've really tried my best to make use of all the space. So I've like squished these shirts together so much. Here I just have extra contact lenses and masks. And I'm not going to show you too much of Inez's side because that's her side. But I will show you the view because the window is on her side. So we have this really tall window that goes up to the ceiling. And then here is the view. It's a little bit hard to see because the window is kind of tinted but you can see the building across the street and you can see some buildings in the distance kind of it's not the best view but honestly it's still fun <laughs> so that was it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed this dorm room tour i love the results of the room there are still a lot of empty walls and stuff so i probably will randomly just kind of fill those in as the semester goes on but i just love how this has turned out the bed's so comfortable so cozy i feel like i've made it into such like a comfortable place to be and a good home but yeah thank Thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you want to subscribe to my channel send the notification bell on follow me on instagram and on tiktok for more fashion and lifestyle stuff and i will see you soon have a great rest of your day bye